years since Hall of Famer Jackie Robinson broke baseball's color barrier, becoming the first black player in the majors. All Major League Baseball players will wear number 42, the number that Jackie wore today in his honor. Commissioner Rob Manfred said that in a tweet that, quote, April 15th is one of the most important days in, base, in the baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. It is the day on which we honor a proud moment, not only in baseball history, but in American history. Our Rob Collins, live at the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum with more on his impact on the game. Rob, good morning. Hey, Nick, good morning. And baseball is honoring Jackie Robinson today. But you can honor Jackie Robinson and all of the Negro League players every day that the museum is open here in the historic 18th and Vine District. They have a great display, of course, on Jackie Robinson. We're taking a look at some of the timeline here. And Mr. Bob Kendrick, the president of the museum, joins us here. And, you know, it's a great day for baseball, and it honors Jackie Robinson. But Mr. Robinson's story is very, very complex, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And not only is it a great day for baseball, this is the first year that – the state of Missouri has officially recognized Jackie Robinson with Jackie Robinson Day in the state. I don't know if there's another state that has an official Jackie Robinson Day. We do here in the Show Me State because we make the point that our nation's greatest heroes, baseball roots, began right here in Kansas City with the great Kansas City Monarchs. All right, we're taking a look at uh, Jackie Robinson playing and folks wearing the number 42 in his honor. And there's so many dynamics of this story. I mean, we can't tell it all in two minutes. But tell us something that people may not know or realize about Jackie. Well, he truthfully wasn't the best player in the Negro Leagues. There were a lot of guys who were better baseball players than Jackie Robinson was, but he was the right guy. And that's not to disparage Jackie, because Jackie's one of the greatest athletes in American sports history. It speaks to the talent that was there in the Negro Leagues. But you had to have both the combination of athletic ability, but also that moxie, that internal ability to deal with the social aspect of what this was going to create. And Jackie had those kinds of intangibles that allowed him to excel in a circ set of circumstances when a lot of people would have crumbled. Right. And for folks, uh, maybe the kids are out of school coming up in a, in a couple of weeks and want to learn more on Jackie. When are you guys open? What can they come down here? What can they learn that they may not read in a book or see in a movie about Jackie? Well, they can come here Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Sundays, noon to 6 p.m. What they'll learn is a, a wonderful lesson about not only baseball, but American history. And they'll learn about these other heroes who really set the table for Robinson to become baseball's chosen one. Our museum focuses on those guys, the focus on the league that gave us Jackie Robinson. Mm -hmm. But had there not been a Negro Leagues, I'm not sure we would have discovered Jackie Robinson. Now, ultimately, you have to believe that someone of color would have broken the barrier, but it likely would not have been Jackie Robinson. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we'll talk more about that coming up in the next hour. Thanks for your time, sir. Anytime, Rob. All right, we appreciate it. We want to leave you now with a tweet from Major League Baseball that pretty much uh, sums up the day. We'll put it on the screen for you. It reads, thanks, Jackie, and a quote from Jackie Robinson, and I quote here, a life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Pretty much sums it up for Mr. Robinson, don't you think, guys? Absolutely, Rob. Great insight. Thanks.